In this video, I am going to show you how to get 10 marks out of 12 for a paper 2 part B questions on ratios with just two simple calculations and a justification. Let's get straight into it. So this is our case study about specialist t-shirts and this is the financial data presented to you in the case study. Now the mark scheme is as follows and we have gross profit margin and profit margin as our level two answers. The GCSE wants a level two answer in order for you to get the higher marks. So the ones that come out the most is both gross profit margin and profit margin. And for my example today, I'm going to be using gross profit margin. Okay, so for my first example, I have the calculation of gross profit margin for order A, which is 50%. This is my first level two answer. For order B, I do exactly the same calculation for gross profit margin and I get 60%, which is my second level two answer. And remember that two level two answers will get me access to the level three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to justify which one is better and why. So my justification is that order B is better because it is 10% higher than order A. So the gross profit margin is 10% higher than order A, which is the difference between these two. That gets me my, me my first level three mark. And even though that order B has a higher variable cost of $25, which is the context. So how do I get 10 marks with this? I got two level two answers, which give me access to the level three. So I have did the calculation for order A and B, and my justification that order B is better by 10%, because even though it has got $25 um, higher variable costs. So that's my first level three answer is nine, plus my context on application plus one, and that gives me 10 marks. So that's as simple as that. That's how you get 10 marks in a ratio question for the 12 mark question. Hope you guys have a good day. See you later. Bye bye.